In the metal squadron, taking a look at the April gold contract, which after today's mildly positive finish, gold is now up three of the last five sessions. And as of yesterday's low, it's filled the gap from January 29th to January 30th. The volume was fairly light today, but it is again preliminary volume. And so far over the last two days, the weekly chart shows a fairly good rebound off the lows, all still, although still on the week, it's negative about 10 basis points or a tenth of 1%, but it is early. On the high today, late in the session, 2050-530 was up 61 basis points or six tenths of 1%. The low 2038.80 was down two tenths of a percent. We were up over a half percent coming in toward the end of the session. We want to look at seasonals, which we've kind of neglected quite a bit lately because of the impact of Federal Reserve policy. And February tends to be a pause during this strong seasonal period that takes place from the beginning of the year, which is really an extension of the holiday season, through about the first two weeks of April. Now this rally precede, uh, precedes a few months of sideways action. If you're looking strictly at seasonals and seasonal trends do not tell us what's going to happen to price. Seasonals are just an indication of a particular time of year providing either a mild headwind or a mild tailwind for commodities. And in the early part of February, there can be some weakness in gold based on exhaustion from holiday spending, but there's obviously other factors that go into it. And what we're looking at right now is a week containing a significant amount of Fed speak. And as I already mentioned, one of the main factors in gold's short-term price is going to be Fed policy. Gold markets are on the lookout for dovish tones from any of the Fed speakers that we have this week. And so far, it's been pretty balanced with maybe a slight tilt toward dovishness, but nothing that would spike gold back up to its December highs. But that slight tilt may be why we've rebounded three of the last five sessions and kind of held in here, despite a little bit of gyration in longer term rates. Gold still has had it held in and it finishes positive today.